You know what I mean? Friendship, loyalty. Mm -hmm. So the question is, is friendship based on the expense of what someone can do for you? Mm -hmm. Who wants to start at all? Um, I'm going to say, yes, it is. Um, Just off of the, uh, I ain't going to say off of the Kel Brook thing, but... Uh, just say a lot of people say you've been friends for 20, 30 years. People been friends for 20, 30 years. And then soon you ask them to do something. And as soon you say no, mm -hmm. they get upset at you. And then they're not your, your friend anymore. Or mm -hmm. you can't call them no more. And I'm not saying to to a point where you cross the line where it's like uh, you do something just something just totally wrong where y'all can't even talk to you no more. Exactly. Just something simple as, yo, I just ran out of gas. Can uh, you cash at me twenty dollars real quick? As soon that person might not have a twenty at that moment and at that time, and you just say like, "Yo, bro, I ain't got it today." Then some they get upset and they get mad. So was you really friends from the first place? I guess they was trying to pocket pockets too, right? The reason they get mad is to think that you had it and they give it to them. For sure, that's the only reason. Definitely. Or, Absolutely. or why can't I just tell you no? Even if I do got $20 in my pocket, because you why can't I tell you, no, I can't give you this 20 right here, this time, right now. Then, but then again, that was a call to me. That, was, yeah, that, that right there, that's, one, that's, that's one sentiment. Me. That's okay. one sentiment. And then when you, look at, when you look at the bigger picture, if you do got the dub and you don't get a dub, like... You basically lying to your friend now. Mm -hmm. So like, so you, so that you, you're not being honest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if he, if he feels some type of way about that, of course he shouldn't because you said no. Mm -hmm. right. But you should feel some type of way about lying to your friend. Right. You know what I mean? If you do got it, if you do have the means to help help a friend out, help. Or, you know what I mean? To help a friend out, help. Like, so because our our friendship was tested. Were we ever friends? Once uh, that person go from, yo, this is my man to, all right, my man or my brother, whoever, tell me no. Mm -hmm. Now I can't even rock with this man no more because he told me no. So was we really friends? Were we really boys from the start? And that's crazy because, like, when you look at when you look at validation, man, like validation is from parking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of people look for validation through people instead of actually validating their own selves. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to understand who you are as a man and who you are as a person before you can actually either aid mm. or seek the help. Mm. You know what I mean? Because the first first level of, of vulnerability... Did y'all write, write that down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The first level of, of vulnerability is saying, hey, I need help. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of men, we move off status. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We move off status and ranks. So a lot of men, yeah. to seek the you, help. Have, you, go to, you go to your friend right now, like not saying, not saying, I'm saying outside of us, but for the, for the audience, if you go to your friend right now and ask your friend, like, hey, listen, how you feeling today? And they, oh yeah, everything good. Everything. That's usually what people are accustomed to saying because they're used to saying that they're okay every single day. Right. Instead get, of get yeah, the instead time. of them actually saying, you know, I had a bad day today. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this happened, that happened, my car, car trouble. Damn, man, I'm, today wasn't my day. You know what I mean? And then that's where the dialogue comes in to say, okay, as your friend, yo, can I help? What you, what you need? You know what I mean? Need anything? Need me to do something? So there, that's the back and forth camaraderie that you're supposed to have with your friend. Right. But that's you, part of the testing the yeah, friendship. Yeah, that's right. testing the friendship. Right. But anything outside of that mm. becomes disingenuous. You know what I mean? Because it's like, Oh, I can't even, you know what I mean? I can't even trust you to be my friend. Mm. And, then if this, and then if it's vice versa, it's like, Damn, like, I can't even, you know what I mean? I can't even say no to you. That's some people, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can't some even friends, say, you can't even call them for help. So if, is that your friend? Some friends, you can't even, I guess it's the know your personnel situation. For sure. But Childism. why should you even be around me if I can't, you can't be a crush to me? Not even a crush in a bad way, That's but. The know your personnel situation, nigga. At the end of the day, yeah. my, my sentiment on that is, yeah, because if, if I can't use you, then what value do you serve? That's what I'm trying to get to. That's why mm -hmm. people have to become useful. Mm -hmm. If you're not right. useful, mm -hmm. then you just become trash. But, but, but that's what the old heads used to say all the time. As, as, far, as far as friends, you're supposed to be able to use your friends. That's the goal. Look, we all should be. Look, we're well, supposed to be able to use your friends. Exactly. However, don't misuse them. Right. People misuse friendship. This is where it gets tarnished down the line. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't keep... The car doesn't work without the transmission. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you keep neglecting that that needs transmission fluid, 
some the car's gonna conk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it's a it's a duration. It takes time for mm -hmm. certain things to actually happen. But when it happened, don't blame don't blame nobody else but yourself for not treating the wound when it was supposed to be rectified. Right. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I just you know that loyalty, that friendship, that brother, that word just get thrown around. I see and mm -hmm. I hear a little bit too loosely now, and I just think. But do that go with family too? For yes. sure. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It, is your family really your family? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, what is family? The yeah. family's gonna be there whether you're here or whether you're not here. Some, of my, your legacy. some, some of my friends, my close friends, are closer to me than my own family, family is. Right. Yeah. yeah. A lot of my friends. Yeah. That's why, they, you know. Because some family only will... call you when they need something. Yeah. yeah. And sure. never oh, man. check on mm -hmm. how, you, how you. But then it's like, how I'm doing. How you doing? But yeah. if that's your family, what do you do? Like, you in a, like, kind of a messed up situation, right? Like, you have to, like, kind of help family, help too, it. as well, right? Yeah. We're family. Yeah. I remember, I remember, it was, I'll tell you a story. I remember a situation, um, guy I used to work with, um, shot the Ed Dixon, man. He used to be, uh, the president of security at, at, the, at the Hilton, man. Shout out to everybody that used to work at the Hilton back in the day. But uh, he was telling me a story about a famous basketball player. I ain't going to put his name out there, his information out there. But he was telling me that he had he had a friendship that was thick as thieves. You know what I mean? They came up together. They was always tight. But he was always the one that had the bag, of course. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was times where he would run out whole floors mm -hmm. just for his mans and them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever he did. That slowed down. He stopped doing that. And then you see the change in the friend. Yo, what's up? Like, mm -hmm. we, ain't, you know what I mean. And then it came to the friend. Actually, one of the friends, like, yo, let me hold, let me hold, let me get, let me get, let me this, let me this. He said that he said he literally gave him two hundred fifty thousand dollars and said, leave me alone. I don't mm -hmm. want nothing to do with you. You're not a friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, mm -hmm. like you said, you're only my friend because I'm doing something for you. For you. Right. you know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. at, at, Especially when it comes to wealth, mm -hmm. when it comes to money, I mean, that's be, the big. A lot of people like that. Take this brand. Just you feel me? Came two hundred fifty thousand and said, "This is where we part." That's right. Got to respect bought, that. Man, you just bought your friendship was two hundred fifty thousand. My, you know what that's I'm saying? And, and, and a friendship costs way more than that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because who gonna be who gonna carry you to your grave? Your mm -hmm. friends should should. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your real friends should be the ones that carry you to your grave. You know what I mean? Your real family should be the ones that carry you to your grave because that's the, at the end of the day, that's all, that's destiny. Right. Yeah, you know tight, I mean? Just tighten up on that loyalty, brotherhood, friendship. Just need to tighten up on that word. There's a lot of false people screaming. False at, narratives. Screaming that name and then screaming those names and it's not, they're not really living that life. 